morning, scientists. It's Melissa here again, this time with my dog Paddle in the background. You might see her pop up back and forth. She's doing like what we all have been doing most days, just laying around. But we are here back again for our part two of our Newton's Laws of Motion Science Challenge. So today we're going to explore Newton's second law of motion. I hope you enjoyed exploring Newton's first law of motion through the experiments we just did a few days ago. Newton's second law is a little different. This law defines a force to be equal to change in momentum, which is mass times velocity, per change in time. Whew, what does that even mean? Basically, it means objects will move further and faster when they are pushed harder. So if you think about it, if you go to the grocery store and you get a cart and it's empty, it's pretty easy to push. But then when it's full of all your groceries and you're trying to push it to the car, it's harder to push because it's full of mass. So basically what Newton's second law is telling us is that an object with more mass requires a larger force to accelerate than an object with less mass. So we're going to explore this some more to maybe put these words to an actual idea. And we're going to create today a Newton car just like this one I have right here. The supplies you'll need for this experiment today, I'm gonna be using construction paper, tape, I need scissors, and then I colored mine, so maybe some arts and crafts. You'll need a bunch of straws or colored pencils to help make your car move. You'll need some measuring device. I'm going to be using this tape measure. You can use a meter stick, a couple rulers, or string again and some way of making air that's consistent every time to test your car. Maybe cardboard with one big clip. You can also use a balloon pump or like me, I'm using a bicycle pump. Oh, and one more thing you need is your field journal to take notes. So some vocabulary you might need to know is acceleration, which is the amount of change in an object's velocity. Velocity is the speed and direction of an object. Remember, a force is a push or a pull. And then inertia, which is an object's resistance to change its motion. Okay, I'm ready. We're going to do an experiment for Newton's second law. What you need is your recently made Newton car. Mine's made out of uh, the construction paper we just used. I decorated it with nice race stripes. You need a bunch of, I'm going to use colored pencils because I have a lot of them. And then you need something to measure with. Awesome. Once you have that set, you're going to start putting your colored pencils, your straws, whatever your little tiny things are. I think markers might work too. As long as they're flat and smooth, like I couldn't use these markers because it's got a little ridge right here. And you're gonna start at the zero. Then every two centimeters, you're gonna put one. You want it to be like a train track. So they're all parallels going the same way um, and they're not changing direction. So however you do this, make sure you lay your pencils, your straws, whatever, the same way every time, starting with zero, going all the way out. I went about 28 inches. And next what you need is your car. So the back end of my car is going to be right at zero and the front end will actually go. What I'm going to use for our demonstration is I actually have a bike pump. And I'm going to use one pump as my consistent force. So the air is going to be the force, the push on the car. It went 16 inches, 
What I'm gonna write down is 16 inches in my field journal. And now I'm gonna do this again, but now I'm gonna put weight into it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase our weight every time. So right now my car's empty, then I'm gonna try it with this. Then say I'm gonna try it with another one. And then I'm gonna try it with a third. And you wanna see how far it goes every time. Other things you can use as weights, instead of my dispensers, you can use things around your house, you can use bottle caps, you can use pennies. You just wanna increase the amount of mass that your Newton car is holding over time. After you document everything, you wanna think about how this car and its mass plays a role in acceleration. Now that we've done our experiments at home, it's time to break out our arts and crafts time with our flip chart. Flip chart. Okay, what you're writing in this one is you're going to have your second law. You're going to write the definition of the law in your best words to help you remember it. And then on the inside, I'm going to draw my best explanation of this law. I did my cart full of groceries and my cart not full of groceries. The same amount of force is going to push my empty cart of groceries farther than my full grocery. And then at the bottom, I'm going to answer, how does the second law help my rocket ship? So think about your rocket ship in terms of mass and acceleration. So really think about that and just answer your question right there. And then hold off on this for until next time. Okay, we just made our car out of construction paper. You can also make a Newton's car out of many different objects. I have attached to our lesson plan a NASA engineered Newton car where you can make it out of wood screws and rubber bands. Definitely ask to make sure that you can use the tools involved in making that or see if you can have an adult help you make it. We would love if you could share all of your awesome Newton cars, especially of them in action. Really exciting exploring mass and acceleration through Newton's second law. We'll see you in a few days. Thanks for joining us. Bye. What are you doing?